Okay, so now that we've got the controller hopefully figured out, we'll go ahead and try going into Arena Commander and see if the jittery ship problem and the thrust problem stop happening. Um, considering that I'm reloading up an old map and I did a test earlier just to see if the throttle uh, was actually still working, um, going to have to go into the options menu and rebind all of the accesses. For some reason every time I mess with the CH manager it changes the device input which makes looks like it like rotates between 2, 3, and 4 almost every time that I do this. It's like the first time it'll be 2, the second time it'll be 3, the third time it'll be 4, the fourth time it'll go back to 2 again. So it kind of seems to rotate through there. So all the button assignments uh, seem to change too. So I've just mapped them uh, to the keyboard assignments uh, with the CH Manager, which actually kind of works better because you can pretty much make it do whatever you want it to do that way. Um, and then I left most of the buttons on the throttle to direct mode. Uh, that way I can go into the game and map fire controls straight to the joystick. And boy, Initiated. Okay, Anvil Aerospace. Go. All systems online. So, yep, I'm gonna have to do that. Now, the ship jitter right here seems to be um, with the game itself because none of the controls here. No, well, I guess the rotation's moving. That's all it's moving. But I've got no throttle control or nothing. So we're gonna go in and change the options. The key binding. And I've done this so many times now that I've almost second nature. Alright, so let's go to view. See, it's on input four, so I'm gonna change that. It's on three now. Left. Right. Up. That's using the uh, toe brakes on the CH gear for those two. And then regular roll, we'll just, uh, there we go. Roll Z. Okay. And the reason I've got the toe brakes assigned to that, um, as well as the uh, regular um, slides on the uh, pedals, is because the slide isn't very. Uh, accurate so if I need to do a real small roll for say coming in for a landing and I need to get my ship oriented using the, the uh, sliding pedals um, I can't get as accurate as I want to overshoot but with the toe brakes I can get it just where I want it okay so throttle there we go and then space brake should already be set up so I'm going to off that Strife up now, okay. I'm gonna go strife up. Oops, strife up right. Rebinding X. Strife up down. Rebinding Y. Alright, and that is the mini stick. I don't know why I didn't give an input, but it should be device 2. Okay. Strife forward, strife back. Don't need to worry about any of that. So, throttle all the way forward, there we go, fifty percent 
power, 56 actually, and all the way to zero. As you can see, my thrust is jumping all over heck. Let's go see if we can try to land this thing without crashing it now. Where are the landing pads? Should be somewhere around here. There they are. Landing mode engaged. Weapon mode engaged. Landing mode engaged. Weapon mode engaged. Landing mode engaged. And there seems to be a, a thing with the CH thing that if I hold the button for too long when I let go of it, it reads it as another click, so it'll double click the button. Landing request approved. Alright. Right. Throttle all the way to zero? Autopilot. Autopilot, engaged, landing gear, deployed. Now right now, when I tried this before, because my throttle was always jumping around, uh, landing complete. I would still try to take off even while I'm in the landing and crash into the uh, lights or whatever over there. So, now the jitteriness inside here, I can only assume take that off. that's complete. the game landing itself. Landing complete. Um, because it's not the control. My hands are completely off all the controls. As you can see, the throttle's not registering anything. There's that. That's not causing anything if I let go of it completely. I'm still moving. So I can only assume this jitteriness, this moving around inside the ship is the game. Because if I go to an external view, you can see the ship's not moving at all. It's, it's dead still. It is landing. There we go, that's what's causing it. I'm moving around like a shaky. Apparently I haven't ate in a while because that's what the, my character looks like. Must well, not have ate for a while. Weak! I can barely move. I can't keep my arm still. Look at me, I'm just shaking in my seat. I can't relax. I'm all tensed up. Ugh. Boy, I'll tell you, if this is real right now, if you can see me, I'm just lean back, just relax in the chair, and I'm so happy that I've got this problem solved. So there we have it. The problem this whole time has apparently been um, the uh, USB hub, or I should say the USB power supply off the computer is not stable enough, does, it's not giving enough juice to all the devices um, in order to keep them from fluctuating. Just putting it on the power USB connection has solved the problems. Uh, well, well, well. I just saw a thruster flying. What happened there? Takeoff complete. Oh, that was me. I Landing the, uh, complete. Stick. Landing gear raised. Landing gear deployed. Landing complete. <laughs> Wonder how much damage I did just by slamming her down. She didn't explode this time like she used to. Guess she's a little, a little more stable now. Let's go ahead and climb out of the cockpit here. Let's see what I did to it. Close. All right. All right. 
Anvil Aerospace. All systems online. Takeoff complete. Landing gear raised. say is I don't know why the back engine isn't thrusting like it used to. Um, that full throttle there'd be a cone of light coming out of the back of that and it only seems to happen when I first hit the thruster and then it just dies off. So it might be an animation issue, could be a bug, maybe this is intentional. And after all in space once you get up to speed you really don't need to uh, use the thruster anymore. So there we have it. So I think that probably solves the problem. Um, Forward proximity alert. Yes, yes. I know. There's no there's nothing in front of me except for that. Let me see if I can scan. Forward this. proximity alert. Aft proximity alert. No, I've been waiting to get this thing working right and having the time proximity to play alert. Arena Commander. So I plan on spending the next several days mastering flying this thing using a HOTAS as opposed to using a keyboard and mouse. Um, there we go. Let's get some afterburner on. Forward proximity alert. Proximity alert. Landing gear. Deployed. All right. Let's see here. Just hang out near this rock, and we'll power everything down. Oh, wait, wait. Wrong way. Weapon system offline. Shields charging. There we go. Whole ship is completely powered down. Even the lights are down. All right. Now we can just sit here and wait for pirates. Or be a pirate. Would you like to be a pirate? <laughs> There's an old song that says that. Okay, enough of this. Weapon system so, activated. Shields charging. Landing gear. Just play around with this thing, and it really does seem like the problem with the throttle has been solved. So, to recap, here's what I did. Weapon system offline. Shields charging. Weapon system activated. Shields charging. All right. Here we go. Okay. So to recap, here's all I did. First things first, after going through constant calibration after calibration after calibration, both using the CH manager and trying to use the Windows one, uh, Windows 8 wouldn't let me calibrate the CH gear from Windows. And everywhere I've read, um, it says don't use the Windows calibration, only use the CH Manager calibration. Um, not exactly sure why they didn't get into detail on it from what I can read, but apparently CH uh, Manager is much better for calibration. Forward proximity alert. The second thing uh, I did was uh, unplugged everything from the hub and plugged it directly into the computer. And that didn't seem to do a dang bit of good. Um, no matter which port I used, whether it was 2.0 or 3.0, whether it was directly to the uh, main board itself, or whether it was through the front side USB uh, hubs, again, no difference, still had that dang jitter in the throttle. Third thing I tried um, was getting that USB hub, and that was after a lot of online reading, trying to figure out what to do. Um, Messing with dead zones on the on the CH manager and all this other stuff didn't stop that throttle jitter. And um, there is one last thing I could have tried, um, but it would have voided my warranty. And that is, you can, uh, if you're the mechanically inclined part, pop the uh, little feet off the bottom of your throttle and take out the four screws and carefully open it up. There'll be wires in there um, connecting to three little terminals that go onto a pot switch. Um, it just looks like a big round metal device. Um, 
and sometimes they'll be a little loose um, and there's recommendations for what you can do to tighten them up. I do not recommend doing that unless you know for darn sure what you're doing because um, in addition to voiding your warranty you can very easily damage your product and there goes your $240 throttle right out the window. So that's an absolute last resort. Um, if you think uh, after going through all the steps I just did that that's still the problem I would highly recommend going through your warranty process if you're still under warranty and having uh, it sent in to CH for repairs um, if you know what you're doing you can pop it open and maybe solder uh, the connections so that they, they don't flex around anymore um, but again I don't recommend messing with the internals of your device unless you know for darn sure what you're doing since I do not know for darn sure what I'm doing, that's the absolute last thing I'm going to be doing. Forward proximity um, alert. So, that's my uh, solution for you. Get a USB powered hub. Um, I got a USB 3.0. Currently, it's connected through an extension, a USB extension 2.0 extension, into a port in the back of the computer. Um, and I have four devices hooked up to it right now, which is the throttle combi stick. Uh, rudder pedals and uh, or I should say pro pedals and uh, my Razor Tataris um, keypad and uh, that should be it that should solve your problems uh, this is Drake's Darkweave and I will see you in the verse